Talk about five questions with James and Jam. Yeah, that's it. Uh huh. Hi everyone, James and Jam here for another mini episode. I'm John Andrew Morrison, known as Jam, and this magnificent, wonderful, glorious creature is. I'm trying to decide. Oh. It's between one of the Vega sisters. The Vega sisters. Either Daphne Rubin or Suzanne. Oh. They're not related. They're not related. I'm gonna go with Suzanne. Hi, my name is Luca. I live on the second floor. Today we have a very special episode. I'm so excited about this. We're doing something very, very uh, singular and unique mm -hmm. and very unique to our theater mm. and a very unique experience to Broadway and American theater history. If you will. I am excited for two reasons. One, we're going to the Schubert archives. We're going to the Schubert archives, yeah. And two, two, we're going in an elevator. In an elevator. So we're going all the way up. But this time... Is there an elevator song? We're on Broadway, everybody. I'm warm. So come join us as we go up to the secret elevator that's mm -hmm. secret in the lobby of the Lyceum Theater to the Schubert Archives. Look at this decolletage. Mm, it's wonderful. A secret elevator. It's James and Jerry! Hi! <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Schubert Archives private elevator. Actually, the elevator was Daniel Froman. Who he, lived? When he built the theater in 1903, he built himself a penthouse apartment on top. And this is the only way into the apartment because it doesn't stop on any other floor. Amazing. Yeah. And it's still hand controlled. Yes. Oh. Ah, it's analog and we get it maintained every month. And the elevator <laughs> no one ever maintenance did that stuff. guys are very impressive. <laughs> oh. That is actually the founder of the company, way back when, Sam Schubert's actual signature. We actually lifted this writing off of a piece of his correspondence and decided that that would be perfect for our front door. Come on in. James and Jam are here. <laughs> I'm Arielle Dorlester. I'm the associate archivist here. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm an archivist here. Hi, I'm Mark Schwartz. I'm the Archive Director. Amazing! And thank you for having us in this beautiful, beautiful apartment. Welcome, what, welcome. what do you think this would rent for? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Schubert Corner, all of the Schubert brothers. And the rest of the family. And the rest of the family. But this is my favorite part down here. So talk to us about this trap door. Uh, this is part of the building, so Mr. Froman, Daniel Froman, built it. Uh, it's kind of a bird's eye view of the stage. Yes. Uh, there's a story that we tell that might be apocryphal, but <laughs> it might be true. Uh, that he was married to an actress named Margaret Ellington. Uh huh. And the story is that when he felt that she was overacting, he would wave a white handkerchief and she would see a flash of white and know what his opinion was. Oh my uh, gosh. They got divorced. <laughs> I think to the surprise of no one. That is too funny. <laughs> but I love that there's this like trap door in his apartment that he could just watch everything that was going on on stage. And we do peek. You do peek? <laughs> you are the first and hopefully not the last, but the first. Tony-winning musicals to play this theater. Woo! Yes. 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 We don't have that many musicals here. Yeah. Yes. Mostly these days it's used as a straight play house. But when Mr. Froman built it, he really wanted it to be for all kinds of shows. Do we know how many musicals have been here? In the I don't know in the offhand how many, but I've been, but in all my years here, I think there's been maybe five. Wow. 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 Yeah. Wow. wow. We'll take it. Definitely. So come see the first Tony Award winning musical at the live stream theater. <laughs> Let's go see some things on the table. These are a few of my favorite things. 
So tell us, what have you picked for us today? This, this is one of my favorites. These are costume sketches done for a review, I believe, called the Greenwich Village Follies. Oh my gosh! I think they date back to the early 20s, 1922. The designs were by a man named Howard Greer, who did some Broadway shows and then actually moved on to Hollywood for his big claim to fame. Oh my gosh. I got to tell you something. So for about a year, I did a show called The Greenwich Village Follies. No. Really? Yes. Oh my um, God. Down in Greenwich Village at a theater called Manhattan Theater Source. Oh my God. And it was based this. on this original concept. And so we did like a whole thing about the, the culture and like oh my God. Um, arts of um, Greenwich Village. And um, we played for a year. Wow. So wow. my God, like this just feels like, <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? That is way cool. All right. Well, what did you have? to show i have to say my favorite is the costume sketches but this is a this is a close second Ooh. it's a list of theatrical supplies ah. and i love everything about it this little piece of ephemera the house of personal service and then you open <laughs> it and it has all the pieces of clothes um, this type of wording, symmetrical, crowns, diadems, jewelry, the trunks that you might need, I love <laughs> these little silhouette illustrations. It's just, it's a, I love it as a piece of history and also just as an object in and of itself. It's just so fantastically in terms of the design and all the little quirky things about it. And then the thing that's wonderful about this archive, right, that it's not only really about the Schubert archive, but it's kind of about American music, about, about the American theater, mm -hmm. a hundred plus years of history of the American theater, which is just kind of wonderful that we have this collection. Yes, and it, we're also a business archive. And right. this is very much part of the business of theater, which is not just the show itself, but all the other industries that support it. Right. And what do you have to show? First of all, I have to say that, you know, for me, choosing my favorite object is like a Sophie's choice. Yeah. <laughs> They're um, all my favorites. But this one, uh, just in terms of the information and what it tells us about this company and how, how these oh, records were kept, this was really cool. amazes me. These were called letter copy books or letter press books sometimes mm -hmm. uh, they were referred to as. And you basically got them at an office supply store. And when you bought them, the pages, of course, were all blank. And there are these index tabulated pages at the front where you could keep track of oh. what was contained in the volume. But as each letter was generated in the office from 1900 to 1906, in the days before carbon paper even, um, this was how they kept copies. So they would... Uh, Probably many times one of the Schubert brothers or one of the people in the main staff would dictate a letter, the secretary would type it up, and when she was done typing it, usually after the person who wrote it signed it, um, you would take the letter and moisten it and put it under one of these pages in the book, oh. and then if you ran a press on top of it and carefully lifted it up, you wound up with an impression of the letter on the tissue page. And what's really great about these is because they cover the six year period of the Schubert's first coming to New York City, they came here in 1900 in May. This really is a minute by minute record of all of the outgoing correspondence for those six years. And because Sam died in 1905, pretty much all of his correspondence is in his books. Wow. And then behind you here, right here is the wall of all the Schubert theaters, right? Correct. Yes. 17. The okay. current Schubert theaters. Yes. The current Schubert theaters in New York. Broadway. Yes. Broadway. 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 <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> And I love that the, the Lyceum, as you said, has a place of prominence right in the center because Definitely. that's where we're that's at right home, now. Yes. Yeah. But what a legacy. My gosh, just all of the American theater and musical theater, theater history right here. Not a history. 
Yeah. I'm really thrilled to have you guys in the house. Oh, it's definitely. It's a great show. I saw the playwrights and I thought this show is wonderful. Oh my God. Like, the fact that we're on Broadway still, like, cracks me up. I'm like, <laughs> our you? big black and queer ass show is on Broadway. <laughs> That's the oldest, longest running continual Broadway theater. And we won a Tony! <laughs> That's amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You.